everyone, this is Carla from CatchyCarla.com and welcome back to my channel. So, um, I just posted a video about color correcting and I've said my my whole explanation that I'm going to be doing makeup based on what I want and of course to always start everything with the skincare, I stopped using toners. I will not use it until further notice because my derma doesn't want me to use toners for now. So since i've been like so inspired with my favorite makeup artist and youtuber hindash i'm going to follow um one of his tutorials sequences is on the first part he always starts with a little skincare using just to pamper his clients or the people they do makeup for. okay so first things first we are going to put on the aloe vera serum again i've mentioned this in my previous post this is a serum that our company has decided to aid out of all the serums that we tested by aloe vera, this is the best one and my sister and I love this one. Again, the second one I'm going to use again is the Avini Hydrants. I've also mentioned this in my previous video. Just to hydrate our face, make sure that it's prepped and ready for all this stuff. We're going to be putting in today because today we're going to put the Meandre Cosmetics. This is all the ones I bought from that. So, do you have this double edge highlighter contour? So, let's open this up. So, this is the um, highlighter contour stick. So, I think this is how it works on both ends. That's that. It says repair capacity stick. There's the it says here the highlight and the shadow. Ooh, it has like a pretty decent amount for a dual color. So let's put it back up. It says the ingredients are silica, ground wax. Oh, these bags quite good. Isoprofil, isomonal. It's from Guangzhou, China. Guangzhou New Biological Technology Company Limited. Okay, this age after looking finish first with highlight sticks in the need to be bright. It's so confusing the ingredients. So I have another one. Ooh, I think this is going crazy. Or did I just pop two of these? Oh, so so this is the one I just opened, and this was oh so orange kind of brown. This is a bit reddish kind of brown, and this is a bit. Cheat toned and it's more like white toned. I'm just gonna go swatch it for you guys. So this contour stick here, white, kind of yellowish one. This is the kind of reddish brown. This is here. It's really really light. It's creamy as well, but it's also a bit oily. I can say right away if it feels a bit oily. This is the other kind of brown. I'm just gonna put it on top of what I just swatched. So you can see the difference in brown, so this is actually a bit lighter than this kind of reddish brown. It's more orange, kind of flesh. And then this one is a bit, I think, a bit more peachy than the other one. Yeah, definitely. So I might just go for this two over here. Hmm. It doesn't, it doesn't have any smell, so. And then we also have this Mianje eyebrow pencil. Like, oh, oh, oh. There you go. Bloop. Okay, so it's extreme engraved eyebrow. Here, can you even open it? Oh, we can't open this. It should be able to open it. Oh, that was so strong. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You see that? Okay, it's a little bit creamy, but it's also not consistent eyebrows it's a little bit too dark it's literally black not even brown oh geez first turn the eyebrow brace out by three-dimensional eyebrow then use the screw to have blah 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 to make its shadows neatly fill in the contours with okay oh okay so the contents are almost similar to the other one so it has these wax pure wax candidilla wax so that's why it's very very oily and hydrocetone so I'm gonna try this one. What else do we have here? Let's open up this white box. It's in Chinese, so I can't read it, but it looks cute. I like this part over here. Okay, so on the inside, it's just, it's just small. Okay, so do you see that? 
a lot of space there left. Oh. So it's very velvety. I really like the feel of it. It says art sketches. Ooh, looks good. Let's just swatch it over here. Oh, wow. So one thing I've noticed, I actually went to China there and I noticed that their eyeliners are pretty good. They perfected the eyeliner game in China. I don't know how or what, but they really did that. Again, we got another one thing here. Not sure what it is again. Cold Dense Cool Black Mascara. So it's apparently a mascara. Let's open it up. And I like the branding. It's very consistent with the black and the white. Open it up here. Let's see here. Oh, what is that goo? Do you see that? Do you see that goo? Hair. No, it's not hair, it's just goo. Okay, so we're gonna try it out later again. Let's just open up this package. It says here matte lipstick in the color Chinese symbols. So I don't know. 80, I guess. Color 80. Okay, so again, very consistent in the branding. I like that touch. I like that feel of the, of the quality of it. More like a PVC kind of plastic. Okay, so ooh! This is light, girl. It smells chocolateish crayon. I like. Let's not break her backs for that. Okay. Huh. Not bad, huh? Has a pretty sizable amount, so that's good. So the ingredients include oh, girl alcohol. You don't want alcohol on those lips. But then again, we have to try this. It has vitamin E, ceramide, capric, triazigazide, and. All these other things I don't understand. Okay, so we have all the sticks. Now we're moving on to their eyeshadow palette. So this one, kind of off-branding, but it's suddenly like shimmery out of all the mattes that we have. So it says, Melange 18 color eyeshadow palette, textured shadow palette. So, oh, no, 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 it has mica. Like that, oh, this smooth. Oh, no, 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 no. Also have parabens, so. Save my face. Oh, I'm trying to avoid that, guys. No parabens. Let's save the face of every human person on this planet. Okay, so are you ready, guys, to see what's on the inside? And whoa, Ooh, let's get the cover. Right. Let's start off with creamy over here. Let's get a little bit of creamy and just put it there. Okay, that's wow. Can't even see it or like sheer that one and then this one over here also kind of sheer then okay this this is the problem with matte it's very very hard to replicate the matte whoa okay this one has color like hello we don't know if it's blendable yet it does have color it's a little bit um powdery so i can say about that then let's try this green here. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. This one is nice. The green is nice. See that shimmer, girl? It's also kind of creamy. Yeah, let's go for blazing. So let's put blazing here. Okay. This is really, really patchy and sheer. I don't like it at all. Cashmere. Hello. When are you gonna start the color, girl? Okay, guys. So I'm gonna be back. I'm just going to put some of my face and some primers and everything, and then we're gonna proceed with testing out the products. Hey, guys. I'm back. So as you can see, I have primed my face. I have con I have, no sorry. I have primed my face, and I have put foundation on and some concealer so I'm pretty ready for all the makeup we're gonna do from now on J. As I said, there's like two different kinds of contour and highlight sticks so I'm gonna stick with something a little bit lighter so it's better for my skin. So this is the, apparently the contour stick so we're just gonna like put it around his cheeks right here. a little bit sticky so it's kind of difficult to blend it's too sticky to be honest it's not even creamy it's more like sticky oily kind of thing
So and then we're gonna do the highlight. This is the one we're gonna use. We're just gonna highlight areas, high points of our face. So as you can see, it's not really like shivering or anything. Like I don't see any shimmer in that. And get back to your blush, like this one. And your blush, just like a bit. It's just to fix areas that like blend in the brush there like it's part of the whole pot. And voila. So for the eyes we do have this eyebrows. <laughs> just really really dark eyebrows so it's just for the heck of it. Oh it's like black guys. It's really black. really hard to close it. Can we just get that straight? It's really hard to close. So we're gonna be diving into the eye palette. Let's get my brush here. It's the Morphe brush we're gonna dive. Let's go try Creamy first for our base. And then maybe I will go for something like a peach dark cashmere here. And on the outer layer. So, so far it's really, it's building up. But it's not pigmented. It's buildable and as you can see what I've been doing, I put it in the outer corner and whatever is left out, I push in to my trees. Upwards like this, since we're going to be using an eyeliner. Also guys, this entire eye palette doesn't have any smell. A lined brush like this and with the same color of cashmere. Just going to put it underneath our eyes. That's done. We're gonna get a little bit of these sunset in really dark purple color and put it right inside here. Dabbing it into that corner again and again, multiple times. It's just Finally, it starts to color. And after that, we have a little bit tiny flat brush. I'm gonna get this gold sand. Or maybe you just try citrine. So citrine is okay. It's picking up quite nice.
you're gonna get blazing. Just put it like around here at the top. smaller brush and we're gonna use this rose veil just for that inner corner over here and just also a little bit of rose veil I'm just gonna put right above here so now we've done that we're gonna get a eyeliner from Mianjue And then we're gonna get their mascara. It's really gooey. What is that? The dirt goes just everywhere. Okay, so for the final one, we're gonna be using their lipstick. So guys, this is the final look. I just want to show you up close. So this is my final review and final thoughts. Um, contour is very sticky. I had a, a very difficult time blending it, as you can see, and it's almost like gone here. So I put my makeup ko when, when I put the contour. So for the highlight, actually, as you can see, hindi siya as shimmery. It's very sheer. Hindi siya masyadong makintab. Hindi siya masyadong um, brightening or nakasilaw. When you try to blend it, it's quite normal long. So this one is the um, eyebrow one, which is really, really dark. It's too dark for me. But as you can see, hindi rin maganda yung consistency niya. Medyo mahirap siya ilagay. Eh. Pero nabiblend naman siya. So even if I use the same um, pressure, ganun pa rin yung tura niya. Hindi siya consistent. So this one, definitely no. But these eyeshadow palettes, as you can see, may mga um, colors na hindi consistent. So hindi siya consistent all throughout. The formulation is very weird. So may, yung mga mattes niya, hindi niya nakuha. Uh, honestly, the mattes just not working for me. That's why when I put it on my eyes, puro nilagay ko is the one with shimmers. And even with the shimmers, hindi siya consistent. It's very hard to get the pigment in. It's just not consistent and I just don't want to risk it and I don't want to spend a lot of time building up the colors, especially when I'm in the rush. So this one definitely no. So for the eyeliner, 100% yes. It's very consistent all throughout. For the lipstick, it's actually also quite good. Pero hindi nga siya yun as kulay. It's more of like if you want some moisturizing kind of dewy look, I think this is the right lipstick for you. It also doesn't smell as bad. So that's it guys. That's my review. Please don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts on Facebook and Instagram at Catching Carla. And of course, to subscribe and ring the notification bell below. Okay guys, so last but not the least, since I bought dupes of this Milani setting spray, so I'm gonna be giving away one of this sprays to one lucky winner. This time, it's not gonna be a random winner. I'm gonna choose someone with the best answer on why they deserve this one. So yon, I'll be announcing the winners again in the comment section of this post and of course on the comment section of the Instagram post related to this topic and of course again on my IG stories so everyone knows that there is a winner. Okay guys, I hope you like this tutorial and I hope you like this review as well. Bye!